Hi everyone, this is Abhishek and Alfonso here once again from Vegan Academy. In today's video, we shall look into the introduction part of the cue card, which is very important, yet sometimes a bit difficult for students to frame a good introduction. So let's go into the discussion part. All right, Abhishek, we have a couple of questions. Here in this video, we are planning to ask questions and give a sample introduction about each question, mm -hmm. and we will have the discussion about right. it. But Alfonso, before we begin, it's very important for our students to understand the need for an introduction. Yes. Remember, uh, for a cue card, it's not mandatory to state an introduction, but it would clearly help the examiner understand that you are a pretty much organized person. If you can relate a cue card to an essay, mm -hmm. in an essay, the body paragraphs are the most important part, but an essay won't be complete without, a, without an introduction, yes. right? Similarly, and when you give an introduction to it, like you will save some time, yes? Mm, uh, yes it will be easy for them to speak for two minutes. Two minutes, that's yes. The that's main... again, is a very good point to yes. add on. Uh, so basically, remember, if possible, start with an introduction. There are two different ways in which uh, you can state an introduction. You can either state a personal statement related to the question, a statement related to your life, which can be related to this question, else come up with a general statement, a statement in general, a generalized viewpoint about the question. Okay, so uh, on an average, how many sentences to an introduction should an introduction have? For a cue card, the ideal introduction should be uh, somewhere between one to two sentences. Don't go beyond two sentences because Examiners won't encourage unnecessary elaborations. You should try to come and to the topic first. And also you will not get enough time to complete yes, your cue card. that again is there because you should speak of the main contents. That yes. is the really, that is the most important, important part, part in a cue card, of course. Yes. Again, think like that. If you, if you have an essay, if you write an essay, if you write the entire essay or if you make the introduction very big, and uh, if the body paragraphs are a bit less compared the to the introduction. The content is lacking, yes. the main ideas are lacking, well, then there is then no there point Then there is no point in writing an essay, right? Yes. So introduction is needed, but it's not the most important part. But it would definitely uh, help examiners understand that you are an organized candidate. And if it's an elaborate introduction, you may lose track also. Yes, that's, what that's again exactly there, yes. are we talking about. So it's good to give an introduction, but keep it short. All right, yes. let's start then. All right, let's begin. First question, uh, talk about a course that impressed you. Right. Uh, in our previous video on cue card discussion, we have actually discussed this question. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll uh, put the link in the description box below. Please make sure that you do watch and support us. Right. So let's come back to this question. It's about a course that impressed you. Of course, before you state what course it is, you should begin with an introduction. Yes. Uh, which would be highly beneficial, mm -hmm. right? So course, as I said before, you can either come up with a general statement or a personal statement for, for this question. Okay, so can you give an example with general statement and without? Right, so for a course, a general statement can be something like this. Uh, it's always advantageous to learn something new because this is an idea that is uh, already understood. It is something in general related to this topic, mm -hmm. right? Else, I could also come up with a personal statement related to this question, which is something like this. I like to upgrade my skills and talents frequently. Mm -hmm. Right. So that is a personal statement. I could use this personal statement too as an introduction. All right. So do you think that if I state something related, uh, what happened in the past? Hmm. Uh, can that be included in the introduction? That, too, that too can uh, For example, be included. For example, I've uh, done a lot of... Courses, courses in my in life, yes, that, that again is a very good introduction. Related to yes. the, um, which is a study that I have done or any skills, that is also possible. That's also so possible. Tense doesn't matter when you give an introduction. It doesn't matter, yes, that's All true. Right. Provided you can relate it with the rest of the question. Okay. That again is very important. You should be able to, your introduction should be made in such a way that it, sh it could easily be connected to the rest of the cue card. Uh, after this introduction, I could then introduce the topic. I could mm -hmm. say, uh, here I'd like to talk about one such course mm -hmm. that I learned in the past, which is, so I introduced the topic. I mean, after the after the introduction part, I then mm -hmm. told the examiner clearly that I'm going to talk about this topic and then you can one. One particular on. course that yes. you had done. Oh, again, remember, on this note, I wish to uh, make this uh, thing clear. You should always focus on 
introducing the topic first. After the introduction is over, straight away tell the examiner that you're going to speak on this topic. This would improve the clarity of speech. The Else, statement that you told here, I would like, like to, to talk, talk about. That's a that, that again is a cliche. You can think of something else. else. This is not a mistake, but still a lot of students tend to use the same sentence structure. Else you could say, uh, instead of here, I'd like to talk one about such one incident. such, no, one such course about one this course. course yes. Yes. One such course that I did in the past is so and yes. so. Right? So, you can think of numerous ways and sentence constructions in which you could introduce the topic, but make sure that your introduction is not too lengthy, mm -hmm. right? And then you should come to the main topic as soon as possible. Next question. Talk about a gift you want to buy. Okay, so the key word in the question is gift. So just think about the keywords so that you can come up with an introduction pretty fast. Uh, for example, you can state a general introduction like this. Uh, gifts always make people happy. That is a general statement related to the question. My statement is something related to the main question. Else I could again relate something to my personal life. I could say, I'm a person who likes to give and receive presents. Or uh, on special occasions, I love to give gifts to my friends. And then you can slowly introduce the topic. Then I could say, uh, here I'd like to talk about a present that I gifted to my friend. Sorry, the question is a gift that you want to buy. Here I'd like to talk about a gift that I wish to buy for my friend. Or one such gift that I wish to give for my friend is a bag. Right? So. Your introduction and your topic introduction combined together should be somewhere around two to three sentences. Please make a note of it. Don't go beyond three sentences because chances are there that you might confuse the examiner going round and round the same topic again and again. Okay, next question. Talk about a person you follow on social media. Social media is a pretty interesting and simple topic mm -hmm. where you can think of a lot of general statements. For example, you can say uh, social media is a place where one can follow and meet a lot of people. That's a general statement. Again, if it's a personal statement, you can say, I am a person who likes to spend a lot of time on social media, mm -hmm. or I'm someone who is very active on social media. So these are the personal Also, you can talk about uh, which category of people you like to follow. Yes, that again media. is a very important, I mean, that again is a very good introduction that you can make. You could say, uh, I love to follow business people on social media. Which area of interest? Ah, yes, I, I love to follow musicians on social media. So you can, you can make that as an introduction. Again, remember, introduction is pretty simple. There's no need to uh, think a lot about it. Make it pretty simple. Uh, and again, remember, try not to state memorized introductions. That again is very important because uh, when you state a memorized introduction and if the rest of the cue card is not up to the mark, then the examiner can easily catch yes, because, and understand. Uh, that's very important. Uh, only two sentences will be really good without any grammatical mistakes. But then the rest of the sentences, you will be struggling to, to complete frame the ideas. Again, uh, a lot of students uh, have a tendency to uh, by heart proverbs, quotes, quotations and make it into an introduction Phrases. yes just like in a speech mm -hmm. again that is not needed and is not entertained for the actual speaking test you should your answer should flow naturally everything should sound natural that is something very important please avoid uh, you can of course you can uh, if it comes with the flow then it's yes. fine but you can try and uh, follow certain tips and tricks to come up with introductions different types of introductions but as such it is not at all a good thing to learn or by heart something that you can add to a cue card. And one more thing I think uh, one mistake that student might, students might do is they might say social medias. Mm. Instead of that you are supposed to say social media platforms is one thing that they can use. There are yes. many social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook mm -hmm. and so on. And then you can give an introduction like that. Because social and media itself is a plural. Yes. yes. So that, that is one point that you have to remember for this particular question.
all right let's move on to the next question talk about uh, a thing you did to learn a new language it's kind of a tricky question i mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. Again, a thing you did to learn a new language, you should talk about the thing, the method that you followed to learn a new language. Since he said a thing or a method, mm -hmm. so you have to just speak about only really one method, right? You should not be talking yes, about right. more than one. Yes. So let's come to the introduction Internet. part of it. Uh, language, you can, you can come up with something that you can relate or sentence that you can relate to language learning. You could say it is beneficial in today's world to know a lot of languages or it is highly advantageous to be multilingual. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good vocab. Right. Uh, again, uh, relating to the personal statement for this question, a good language. You can say, I'm a person who likes to learn new languages whenever the situation demands or whenever mm -hmm. I have the opportunity. So again, the introduction can be something related to the rest of your answer. For example, if I intend to say, okay, I wanted to learn a specific language as a part of my work, I could make my introduction like this if the situation demands. I always like to learn a new language or I'm quite okay to learn a new language. If it is something that you did for fun, you can then say, I'm a person who likes to learn languages whenever possible. So be flexible, try make sure that your introduction is related to the rest of your answer and to the main question. Right. Okay. On the other hand, you can also say that you are not a person who is very keen in learning languages, or you find difficulty in yes, learning languages. Yes, negative sentences can also be used as included. Uh, yes, can also. Uh, so but again, you should say. Uh, however, here I'd like to talk about an incident, or here I would have, like to. I was left with no other with option options, but to learn, learn a, new a new language, language yes, or something that. that I did to learn. Yes. Never think that uh, it, the examiner will be judging you if you say something negative, or this is never a negative thing. Uh, it, some people will be uh, they will be interested in learning languages some people will find it difficult to learn and they might not be interested in that particular thing maybe something else mm -hmm. so it's perfectly fine uh, to see negative sentences also yes all right Next question, uh, talk about an ambition you haven't achieved. This is one of the recently asked questions. Uh, again, ambition can be related to goals, uh, something that you want to achieve in the future, some targets that you wish to acquire in the future. So for this question, uh, you can state an introduction like this. You could say uh, it's important to set goals in life. That's a general statement. That's something, something in general related to this topic. Else, when it comes to the personal statement, you could say, I have set several goals for my future, right? So again, there are numerous ways in which you can uh, frame an introduction. Always remember to start your uh, cue card with an introduction. Once you practice a lot of cue cards, of course, there are a lot of cue cards available online. Uh, and if you attend our coaching classes, we would definitely be supplying you with a lot of cue cards and practice sessions uh, from which you can uh, get a lot of questions and you can practice. And once you start your practice, uh, make sure that you uh, try to begin every question with a cue card. And eventually, after you complete 10 or 15 cue cards, you would get used to it. That's how you need to practice and uh, make yourself familiar to beginning a cue card with an introduction. So we have our last question for today. Uh, talk about a rule that you don't like. Right. Uh, a rule again is something at your workplace or in general, in your country, in your specific area. If it is just rule, you can think about something and then explain it. Right, so let's come to the introduction part. A rule that you don't like. Think about something that you can relate to the question. Uh, for example, when it comes to a general statement, you can say rules are set to do things systematically. That is a very good general statement that you can uh, use for this question. Again, if it's a personal statement, uh, you could say, I am a person who generally abides by the rules and regulations, right? So, and again, then you can say, however, here is something that I don't like. And then you can talk about the rule. Again, make sure you speak about the rule, what it is first, without making the examiner confused. 
uh, I think is, one point is to not say that uh, I don't like to wear seat belt or hmm, something that, like that. That is that is an acceptable answer, but still, it's difficult for you to justify your yes. answer. That's that's because there as because far as safety is concerned. concerned you're supposed to wear a seatbelt. Mm. So then again, when they ask you part three questions, it will be a little bit tricky for you. For you so yes. avoid such answers. Answers. Try to stay on the positive side itself uh, when it comes to the uh, main main points. After all, you should have good convincing ability, whatever you speak. That's something that matters at the end of the day, right? Uh, you should state points that you are able to give good points and give clarifications, necessary reasons to just Not a confused your answer. point. Yes, that's, that's, that's important. Okay, forget about negative and positive. Think like this. Yes. Right. If Whichever you say, point that you have a clear idea on, which you can explain, mm -hmm. even if you're asked part two, part three questions, if you can justify it, well and good. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay, so that's the end of today's video. Uh, I hope this would be really beneficial for you. We would definitely make sure to uh, comment uh, or put in the description a few of the links that we have done, links for the videos that we have done in the past. Please make sure to uh, watch, share these videos with your friends and support us. Thank you so much once again. Have a great day.